Hello again and welcome to another tutorial. This time we'll be looking at using the histogram and uh, levels and curves. So uh, what I've done here, I've got here uh, already an image that has been stacked um, in Deep Sky Stacker and this is of the Horsehead Nebula and the Flame Nebula in the constellation of Orion. So what you're looking at here is um, after you've stacked your pictures and you load it into Photoshop um, this is what you get. Not much to look at. So what we've got to do is to use levels and curves to bring out all of the detail. So first of all what we'll do is we'll just duplicate this background layer, drag it down to the little icon next to the bin and duplicate it. So we're working on this duplicated layer. Next we go up here to uh, image, adjustment and levels. And here we see our level box come up. I'm just going to move that over here and also over here you want to bring up your histogram and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using my phone going off there uh, what you'll be doing is using the histogram and your levels box to see what you're doing with this image. Now it took me a while to get the hang of this and it does take a bit of practice but uh, this is the all important bit so with the levels uh, box open here we're just going to move the grey slider in the middle towards the uh, all your data here this black column here which is all your um, image and your data all compressed into the side we we'll move that up a little bit to the left and uh, OK then we're going to do it again, image adjustment levels, and uh, move it once more. Let's move it right up to the edge of the black spiky bit there, your data. Move it right up to the edge, and it brings it right up very intense, and say OK. Now that we've done that, just take a look over here at your histogram. Now you've stretched out the data a fair bit, but you'll also notice that the colours, the red, green and blue, are all um, separate from each other. So what we'd like to do now is bring them all, um, line them all up. So we're going to go back again to Image, Adjustment and Levels. And in the channel box, you've got your red, green, blue, which is what we're looking at at the moment. We're just going to go to the red. And again with the grey slider in the middle, move it away and you'll notice that as you do that the red will move back so it sits, the red channel now is sitting near where the blue and uh, the green are and it's lining up with that, that's good so now we're going to go to the blue one so select the blue one and again with your little grey slider move it in towards it rather than away and that will bring it back in line uh, with your other colours. So the idea is you're sandwiching all those colours into one. So we'll say OK. And we've got our colours a little bit better aligned there. So I'm just going to close the histogram box just so we can see a little bit better what we're doing. Now you notice there's a bit of um, rubbishy bits there which we don't want. So we're just going to crop those off with the crop tool up here. So press the crop tool. Start about there. Bring that in. Crop off the bit that you don't want. That'll do. And then go to image, uh, crop, and get rid of that. Now, if we bring back the histogram, you'll notice that it's a lot cleaner. Uh, that the spiky bits have gone because that was the area where we'd stacked it. Um, and we don't want that. Okay, so now we're going to just go back to the levels again. So, image, adjustment levels and we're going to bring the black slider in to the edge there and the grey slider up there so we're bringing it back to our data so it's on either side of it you don't want to go inside you want to just on the out so if you go inside you'll start clipping it which you don't want to do so we'll say ok and it's looking good now we're starting to stretch the histogram and the colours are lined up a little bit better and we can also see in the image here now that things are starting to appear. Now 
actually start to see the horse head and the flame nebula a little bit better and a little bit of nebulosity along there. But we've still got a way to go. So now we turn our attention, now we've done that, go back to levels, have a look. Yeah, that's okay, we'll just bring that in a little bit more. Let's go back there and bring that in a little bit more. Subtle little changes, but they make all the difference. Okay. And then we go back and we'll start working on curves now. So we've got image, adjustment, and curves. Now, curves are um, all important. You've, you will spend a lot of time working with curves and learning how to use them. But basically it's how you manipulate this line here and where you put your points and how you move them around that makes the difference. And it's quite yeah, you know, it's not that simple. You have to kind of um, figure out where your points are, and you have to move them around carefully. It's little subtle adjustments that make big differences, and you'll find yourself doing it several times, like I've done. But uh, to start us off with, if you want to um, um, just do a simple curve, which I like to start off with, just put your pointer right there in the middle, drag the whole thing up a little bit, and that will bring the brightness up. Look at that, it brings it right up. see where the areas are that you want to increase uh, the darkness or the brightness on that nebula there, it's about there. So from doing that I can see that this point here in the middle, if I pull it down, it's going to increase the contrast. And if I put another point there and bring that up, you see what I mean? As you just bring those down, move those little points around. Keep an eye on your histogram as you do this to make sure that it doesn't start to degrade too much. And you just basically keep working away, adjustment, levels, curves. And again, once you've once you've got it starts to look right, get your little pointy finger down here, put it on the brightest spots, so you can see where it's a lot on the nebula there, that's about there. So if I want to bring up this area on the nebula here, say. Now I've made a little marker there, I can pull that down and that will darken it or brighten it. So if I bring that up, you can see that that's bringing that up, but you might also need to bring that back down. Just subtle little changes make all the difference. see now that from where we were when we first started to now we've really begun to bring that image out so if I go uh, if I if I go now back to my layers palette and show you take that off that's what we started with and just by using levels and curves and the historogram watching that carefully and tweaking those a little bit we bring out all of that detail and that's why levels and curves and the histogram are so important. So spend a bit of time learning and finding out as much as you can about that. There's a few more tutorials on my blog, astrocastro.blogspot.com, if you want to have a look at that. And in my next tutorial, I'll look at using um, the Unsharp Mask, which is a bit of a stupid name for it because it sharpens everything up, and also the High Pass Filter. But uh, for now, 
hope you've enjoyed that little tutorial and um, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much.